England have arrived in Mount Monganui for their game on Monday against South Africa. Virtually every game now is a must-win game for England, having lost their first two games. Last game at Dunedin, the fielding was as bad as I've seen from an England side for a long, long time. They missed seven chances. There was five drop catches, a miss run out and a miss stumping. The coach, Lisa Kitely, has asked for much more energy in these next two days in the fielding to get that confidence back in the team. Getting used to this swirling wind, the other decision they've got to make as well is on their opener. Lauren Winfield Hill is there, just going through a few little looseness to get the body ready. She has gone 31 games without a 50 in ODI cricket and considering 23 of those innings have been at the top of the order, which is the best place to bat in white ball cricket. Lauren Winfield Hill needs a score. Lisa Kitely and Heather Knight need to make a decision on Lauren Winfield Hill. Kate Cross just having a bowl in the net. She just bowled a, a bouncer, actually. And the far net there, Danny Wyatt, is batting first. Sometimes you get a clue as to team selection, as to who the coach sends into the net first. And it's the two openers, or could be openers, in Tammy Beaumont, Danny Wyatt, and in the middle, Nat Siver. So that may be a, a hint that England are going to make the change from Winfield Hill and move Danny Wyatt up to open. But it's two days to go to the game, so they may change that tomorrow. Uh, it's also noticeable that uh, Sophia Dunkley is having a bowl. She's there with uh, Sophie Eccleston who was quite brilliant in Dunedin it's about as well as I've seen Eccleston bowl but Sophia Dunkley just having a bowl a few of her leg breaks because England are looking for that extra bowling option as well and she's been working hard in the nets with her bowling. 